What's up everybody? So today I've got a really interesting fly for you. Uh, I tied a damselfly nymph a few weeks ago called the Jarvis Sparkle Damsel. Today I'm going to tie a really cool little damsel called the Flyline Damsel. This fly, this fly was shown to me, uh, invented by Taylor Strite, a good friend of mine who uh, has fished this fly on a lot of ponds and lakes around uh, New Mexico and, and the West, and I've started using it, and it really is uh, a great fly, works really well. Uh, he tied it reversed, which means the whole fly was tied backwards on the hook. So I'm going to tie it standard, and then I'll show you an, a reversed version of it so you could see what it looks like. His thought process on that, uh, from what he told me, was that he was having a lot of fish that would approach this fly from the head and they would the fish are big enough that they'd create a wake and as they're creating that wake they would actually push the fly uh, away from themselves and they weren't getting the hook so by tying it reverse you stood a much better chance of actually catching those fish so i'm going to start this fly with a uh, just a blue thread uh, this is a six op blue thread and this is what's cool about this i have this blue fly line and i'm just going to tie in a piece of blue fly line. I'm just going to lash it down. And this is a dry fly line, so this fly line will float. I'm going to build up a little tab, a little bump in front of it to get it to stand up. And I'm actually going to do a couple little loops around that the base of that fly line to get it to stand up nice and tall. At this point, I usually like to come in and hit it with just a little drop of super glue just to make sure it stands up. And I'm going to tie in an oversized uh, dry fly hackle. This is, I think it's a Whiting Farms. It could be a hairline half cape too. I just got some hairline half capes. But it's just a big grizzly hackle. And it's a size, this is a size 14 uh, dry fly hook, standard dry fly hook. Uh, I think it's a U002. Um, but... This hackle is really probably like for a size eight fly. It's much bigger. It's a much bigger hackle than the size of this hook. So I'm going to tie in the, the dry fly hackle. I always trim the sides of the, the barbs to give that thread something to grab hold of. And then I'm going to take some hairline super fine blue dubbing. This stuff is pretty cool. And I'm going to attach it to the thread. And I'm going to wrap over all of that tie-in point of this damsel where I tied in the hackle. Get up in front of it. Add a little bit more. Uh, if you've seen a lot of damsels, you'll know they have a fairly slender body, so you don't want to overdo it on any of this stuff. Then I'm going to take my oversized hackle here and parachute it with about seven turns. I want this nice and bushy. Bring it up to the eye, pull back all those fibers. trim, and whip finish. And we're pretty close to done with this. Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm going to take this fly line, stretch it out here, and I'm going to take a Sharpie, and this is an optional step, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to mark. Okay, and then we'll trim this down. And there you have it, fly line damsel. Great fish catcher on any little ponds or lakes that have damselflies. 
this one works.